Hi, it's Nicole McGuirk, and today I'm going to share a card with you created for a brand new blog called A Blog Named Hero that celebrates everything hero arts. This is the card that I made, and it showcases a lot of my favorite hero arts products. Um, I'm especially fond of their floral stamps, their background stamps, the small pearl gemstones, and their greetings. So here I'm just going to show some of the, or all of the Hero Arts products that are I'm featuring in my card. This is the Hero Arts Wildflowers and also the Hero Arts Exotic Blooms. These are both wood mounted stamps. Um, I'm using those because I'm using markers to color on them and I find I get a better result with um, the rubber rather than the clear. I also love their background stamps which you just saw with the newspaper background. This is the greeting stamp set that I'm going to be using called Sending Smiles. I'm also a huge fan of their inks, both the shadow inks and their, all, their brand new mid-tone inks. So these are the two colors I'm going to be using on my card. And then here are those pearls that I was talking about that I use over and over again on all kinds of things. You can even change the color of these with Copics if you want to. So to get started making my card, I'm using, I'm just kind of showing, I guess, the stamps I'm using. I'm going to use both of these floral stamps. Um, they also have some similar stamps in the cling style, but when I am coloring directly on my stamps, I do also do it with the clear stamps, but I find you get a much nicer impression usually, usually, <laughs> when you use the rubber. So I'm using some memento markers here to color in the flowers and the stems and the leaves and things individually because when I stamp this on my Nina cardstock, that white cardstock I'm using, I want to have a multicolored impression. And this is the best way to do it is by using markers specifically made for coloring on your stamps. So I'm just coloring them in, I'm layering color in on certain blooms, just so it gives you that more realistic, vibrant looking color. I'm using the brush tip of the marker. They're, these markers have a brush tip and also a fine tip. I almost exclusively use the brush tip just because it covers a much larger surface area when I'm coloring. And with this technique, even though I want it to have a nice multicolored look, I just huffed on my stamp to kind of re-moisten those inks. And there you can see what it looks like. It's really beautiful. But back to what I was saying, even though I'm using different colors and I want it to have that multicolored effect, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I, I do kind of speed through coloring it and such when I'm doing this. So now I'm using the exotic blooms. I love using a couple of different ones together to really give that kind of floral garden looking effect. These are a couple of my favorites that I've used in different ways on different projects over and over again. I just really think Hero Arts does a fantastic job with their floral stamps. I'm gonna stamp that right next to my other one, kind of overlap it a little bit. Now, to go in and kind of add that depth and dimension with some shading, I'm just using a little bit darker marker and just kind of quickly adding a little bit of shading. It gives a much more lifelike look and makes the um, flowers and the leaves and things look a lot more interesting. So I just am using a little bit different colors, like I'm using a little bit of purple or a light purple here on that pink flower. And it doesn't, I'm not like going over the entire thing. I'm just adding enough to kind of give it that shading effect. Again, I'm not doing it real precise or real neat or anything like that. Just enough to kind of give it that depth and dimension. This is a fairly flat card. So, Anything you can do to kind of give it more of that depth and dimension really helps liven up the, the card. I like making more flat cards because it's easier to send them through the mail. There I inked up that newspaper background with the soft brown shadow ink. I really love that and I just stamped it over the entire background. And now I'm just gonna use an edge die to give the edge of my stamped piece 
a real kind of a fun little edge. So it's just a quick little run through my Sizzix here. And I'm going to do this on both the stamped piece and then my card base, which is just kind of a tan color of cardstock. And I secure my cardstock with a little piece of scotch tape simply so it doesn't move when I run it through my Sizzix. My plates for my machine, you can see they've been well used and loved. I've, it's probably about time for a new set and they, they're a little bit bowed so sometimes they make the paper shift so I really want to make sure it doesn't shift when I'm die cutting something like this. So there, there you can see what it'll look like but it's still pretty white and I really want a more distressed look. So I'm going to use some Ranger Distress ink. This is the antique linen and I'm going to use the ink blending tool to kind of distress that up a little bit and to soften that background. This is a really quick and easy way to add color to some white cardstock. So I'm just going around. You want to start off the edge of your card and work your way in so you don't get any big blobs of color anywhere on with that ink blending tool and work in little circles. So it's darker around the edges and lighter in the center. Then I'm going to use a little bit of frayed burlap just around the edges, not kind of come in quite so far, just to define that edge a little bit more. So that gives a nice kind of gradient of color. Once I have that done, I am going to um, go ahead and add a little bit of stamping on the inside of my card as well. I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the front, only I'm only going to use the exotic blooms to stamp a pretty little floral on the inside of the card. I have really got into finishing the insides of the cards so that they look as pretty as the outside so that when you open it up and you write a nice little greeting to the recipient, it looks as pretty as it does on the outside. Again, I'm going to do the same thing, just adding some shading with my markers. Since these are, um, these markers won't go through your cardstock or your paper, they're a great way, it's, it doesn't hurt anything by doing it this way. For example, if you are using the Copic markers, which are um, alcohol based, they will go through your cardstocks and you'll see it on the other side, which you want when you're using those, but you can't, you, you need to mount it on another piece of paper so you, that you don't see through it. Oops, I was stamping my greeting and I didn't quite get it all. And this is the beauty of clear stamps is you can position it right over that. I didn't ruin my card or any of my other stamping. And I just kind of pressed it right back down and finished off stamping that inside greeting. The great thing about this particular greeting stamp set from Hero Arts is, it, is that it kind of has the outside greeting and then an inside greeting. I really like that. It finishes everything off. I'm going to stamp my happy birthday using that Cup of Joe Midtone ink. And again, I don't know what my problem was, but I didn't quite get that all stamped. So I'm just going to make sure I line it up and stamp that right back over there. Finally, I wrapped a little bit of twine there around my card, just a very simple embellishment that's fairly flat and mails easily. And now I'm adding my favorite pearl gems from Hero Arts. I use tons of these on my card projects. I love that they add that dimen dimension that you want, but they're fairly flat. So they really make it nice and easy to send your cards and things through the mail. So I'm just going to add a few more of these here and there and the card is finished. For more information on this card please visit a blogged name hero.blogspot.com and be sure to check out all the great cards featuring different artists favorite hero arts products all week long. Thanks for watching!